So here on page three, we have some examples of why is the waist and the neck so small on your models? Like why, how come, why is this girl so skinny and so tall and long? What is the benefit of doing that? Let's imagine that we have a girl, and she's just your normal average everyday girl, and when she goes shopping, she's a size six. If we take that size six woman, add some guides on top of her, and then we can go ahead and start drawing some pants and a jacket. And I'm making sure to be really diligent that the jacket fits perfect on her neck, her shoulders, and the waist, and it goes over the pants. And if we move this jacket off to the side and complete drawing the full size jacket as well as the pants to go with it. And then uh, let's imagine I take this drawing and I send it off to a factory to have a sample made. What are they going to make me? Probably a size 10 petite. The reason being is because it's so wide in the neck and on the shoulders and in the waist and the pants look so short. But that's not what I intended. Here's what I want. I wanted a size 6 women's jacket. So it should be more narrow in the neck and the shoulders and it should look longer and more fitted. So if we take that jacket, move it off to the side and make a guide to match and a pair of pants to go with this, then what is left is, well, what does the girl look like? So here we can see we have a size 6 women's 10 heads figure inside of this drawing that would be interpreted correctly by the factory. And this is why croquis look the way they do, and this is why fashion artists draw the way they draw. Now that you understand why the 10 heads figure is so narrow in the waist and shoulders and neck, so you can make a jacket look like it is truly a women's size 6 jacket, your next question should be, well, why are the legs so long? And the reason being is this is to accommodate for all the different hem lengths on your skirts and dresses. So if we were to take a look from four heads down, and you could start to develop, we would have a mini skirt down at five and a half, and you still have room for the business skirt above the knee at six, and a knee length skirt going down to six and a half. When we move into our midi length and T length, you'll notice that there's a nice differentiation between the middle of the calf and going below the calf, as well as giving you room if you're going to have multiple layer dresses on one garment. Moving all the way down to the ankle at nine and a quarter, you can see there's lots of room for fit, flare, and A-line skirts, as well as the full dramatic look of going all the way to the floor and having lots of room to puff out off of her hips without making the dress look like it's too large and too puffy. So you can see now that having these different multiple lengths set at the different measurements is easy for the factory to recognize the exact hems that you want on your garments. Here's a couple other examples of why it's nice to have your 10 heads figure so skinny in the waist. When you come down and you're doing full length gowns, it's nice if you can add on things like, for instance, bows and sashes, and they will come out off of their drawing, off of the hips of the drawing. So this is giving you room going from something so small to coming out here to something larger, but still having it be a slender looking size six model. As well, when you start to move into really puffy dresses, this gives you lots of room to come out and show a nice big puffy dress because you're starting from such a small waist in the first place. So you can see here that if the waist was larger, like if this was an eight heads tall girl with a larger waist and you wanted to puff the skirt out this much and you had to end it here, it would look really strange. It, would, it wouldn't quite have the same flow that you're looking for. So having the girl at 10 heads tall with the smaller waist, then you're able to come in and have these really puffy, elegant dresses that go all the way down to the floor. So here's a good example at looking at multiple hem lengths. And this would be something where the factory is going to look at your drawings and try and interpret to give you exactly what you want. So we can see here on this small demi dress where it's coming up to her full hip level and you can still see the bottom of her crotch level and you can see that these would be little boy shorts. And then when you move into this dress here, it is going below the crotch level. So this would be drawn down to about four and a half heads down. So we can see that that's longer than her full hip. These two dresses here, we can see that there is multiple hem lengths. So for instance, this side of the hem is starting 
at the high hip and is moving down to the full hip and then we have down here at the full hip moving below the crotch level. So this would be more towards five heads down, like a mini skirt length. Same thing is going on here. And then we move into having a full length dress right here, as well as noticing that this one is at the ankle. So we'll have floor length, ankle length. And then when we look at the slits on these two dresses, this one is shorter. It's coming up to the knee height. And this one's coming all the way back to just underneath her swimsuit level. So this would be higher than a mini skirt. So you can see just by drawing these consistently at 10 heads tall, the factory will know exactly what you want.